This is Dries van Langenhove. Dries has just been sentenced to one year in prison in addition to some hefty fines. Now, what has Dries done, you might ask? Well, he hasn't actually done anything at all. He has been a member of a Discord server where edgy memes were posted. Therefore, they have the regime of Belgium. They have decided to put him in prison. Now, of course, there is uh, the real reason. I will tell you the real reason they want to put him in prison. First and foremost, they're afraid of him personally. Dries is one of the finest sons of Mother Europe. I have had the pleasure of meeting him in person and it's an impressive specimen and I understand that he's the most popular politician in Belgium. If we had more of him, Europe wouldn't be in its current predicament. So they are afraid of his popularity. I would be too if I were the Belgian regime. I would also be afraid to contend with such a man. So that is the first reason. They're simply afraid of him and yeah, they use this very poor excuse to put him away. The second reason is that they are afraid of others like him. So they want to make an example. See, this is what happens if you stand up against us. So in my latest video, I talked about Sam Melia in the UK. He's also going to prison for putting up stickers. Stickers warning against rape gangs, for example. And the, I don't want to blackpill anyone here, but you see these many non-European rapists, they come in, rape children literally and they get away with a prison sentence of maybe a few months in some cases now why do they do this yes they want to show you dear citizen of the west dear white man they want to show you that their clients because that is what they are they supply votes for these political parties and in exchange they get social welfare and they get away with a slap on the wrist for the most heinous crimes possible the rape of a child for example so there you have the difference in punishment. So you have on one side, you have Sam Melia, Dries van Langenhove, good-natured family men standing up for what they believe is right, what is right. They stand up for European civilization, common sense, nationalism, this type of values. And then on the other side, you have heinous crimes getting a slap on the wrist. And that is because the perpetrators of the heinous crimes, they are under the protection of the current regime and they see men like us as an um, as a threat to their power and it's completely normal that they feel this way because they have come to understand how much regular people actually hate them the regime so therefore elections coming up in belgium they know this is a very popular individual so yeah this is the they want to send a warning that is the second reason for imprisoning him and putting this hefty fine on him to send a warning this is what happens if you stand up to us now i encourage everyone to don't be afraid this is a sign of weakness. If they were strong, if they were confident in their position as leaders of our respective countries, I say the regime. The regime in the UK is quite similar to the one in Belgium. The Swedish one is thankfully quite a bit nicer. It's a bit of a gangster's paradise here, so uh, they, uh, they aren't as repressive towards dissidents. But you have in most of Europe, most of the West, a similar regime oppressing the the majority population trying to voice its dissent. So this is how they perceive of democracy. It's a joke, of course. Everyone understands this democracy, as we know today, complete scam. And yeah, my full respect to Dries, one of the finest young men we have. And yeah, I know he will get through this stronger than before and his popularity will only increase and the message, our message, will only increase in popularity as well. For every time the Various regimes, they do something like this. Our, the potency of our message is only strengthened. So, that being said, again, full respect to Dries. XOXO, boom.